We are in Microsoft Exchange 2010, and I'm going to show you how to change the activation number of a database so it always mounts to the database you want in a database availability group. So you can see on our Expansion 9 database, we have two servers, and it is set exactly the way we want it. So our activation number one is on Exchange Host 8, and number two is on 5. However, on our next database, it's the opposite of what we want. We have ex exchange host 8 is activation 1, and uh, 5 is 1, and 8 is 2. So we want to flip these two around. So what we want to do is pull up our shell, exchange management shell, and then here's our command. So our command is to set the uh, mailbox, act, uh, mailbox database copy, and then the database name followed by the server name, and then the activation preference and then the number. So let's go ahead and do that. You don't have to use uh, capital letters like they show in the various different examples. You can just use all lowercase. And then here is the name of our database, followed by the name of our server, and then activation preference one all right let's make sure everything oh, looks like I have a typo here all right so set mailbox database copy expansion 8 that's our database exchange host 8 that's our server activation preference is one okay and it looks like it was successful so now we'll come back over to our exchange expansion 8 and make sure that this flips around Let's hit refresh all right now it's uh, it's still showing in the activation preference the opposite of the way we want it so let's just go ahead and right click on it and choose properties and we can see it actually did change to the activation preference of one so if we close our manager and reopen it, then it should show the changes that we just asked it to do. Sometimes refresh doesn't uh, work in the management console. You actually just have to close it and reopen it. All right, let's go to our expansion 8. And sure enough, now 8 is activation 1 and 5 is 2.